On Sunday the 23rd of April 2023 at 3pm you will receive a national test of the UK Emergency Alert Service. If you have a compatible device, e.g. a 4G, 5G phone or tablet, your phone is within range of a cell tower and you have not opted out of Emergency Alert, which you can do by going to Settings for Emergency Alerts and turning off Severe Alerts and Extreme Alerts. A UK National Emergency Alert on your mobile phone or tablet may make a loud siren-like sound for up to 10 seconds, even if it's set on silent, vibrate or read out the alert. So expect this. The reason for the UK National Emergency Alert is to warn you if there is a danger to life nearby. Alerts and safety messages appearing on your device's home screen could be about severe flooding, fires and extreme weathers, but could also be about a public health emergency, the spread of a deadly disease, an impending nuclear attack, war, widespread civil disorder or even a terrorist attack. Once an alert has been sent appearing on your device's home screen, you must acknowledge it before you can use other features. In other words, your phone is temporarily disabled. And to allay any privacy concerns, the UK government's FAQ says, does the government use my personal data to send an emergency alert? The answer given is no. The system uses the cell towers your phone is connected to. When an alert is triggered, all towers in the area will broadcast the alert. To do this, the government does not need to know the specific location or personal data on your device. But is this answer correct? If a cell tower connects to your phone, would this not leave some digital trace of your phone's location and your device's details, which would require erasing by your provider if this data is not going to be forwarded, analyzed and processed by an inquiring government? Feel free to comment on this question. Follow, like and share.